Hi everyone. So I want to continue from yesterday's video by giving some more specific examples, practical examples, to really understand what do I mean when I'm saying that. All of myself, all of my mind, all the great extent of it, all the little details, all the programming of the mind is here in this world, within everyone, within, you know, it's in this reality, it's real here. So, for example, it's like the programming within me, the kind of programming, one example, right, one example is programming where it's like a back chat, where my mind is talking to me, I'm talking to myself. But within that voice, it's a very aggressive, dominant, authoritative voice. And those exact words that my mind speaks, that can actually be spoken by another person in this world. Where a person is literally speaking in that same way with those words. Where it's like, it could be, for example, someone seeing you doing something very wrong, very bad, and they speak in that way, like, hey, you should not be doing this. This is, you're, this is unacceptable, no. You're very bad, bad, you know, bad person, bad child. Um, that actually wasn't a really good example, but it's like, within myself, you know, I have, that point within me, the mind that I've worked with, I faced. And that's part of the mind programming where it's back chat, where it's like the mind is talking to you in that dominant aggressive way. Where, for example, like, you can't do this. It's, it's impossible. There's no way. It's way too difficult. It's way too much for you. You're way too young. You have no experience. For example, that's, that's a good voice. <laughs> so that's a good example there, where that is something that I've had, that's something that I've faced. And people in this world can talk to me in that way, and they have. So the mind programming is real. It's here in this world within people. Things I face within myself, just within myself, is actually in this world. And is there for me to face within within you know this world, within within other people, within the situation, not just within myself anymore, but with other people telling me the same thing that my mind would be saying. So literally facing the mind in the flesh, you know, within programming. Um, let's let's do another example to make it more practical. Um, well, let me just say this first, that it's like, you know, that, okay, realizing that, okay, well, it's as if, it's as, as if having your worst nightmares is being real kind of situation where, okay, within yourself, if you have this negative thing, this fear, you're going to say, no, stop and move and change. But when you realize, okay. It's in this world. It's gonna. You're gonna face it as if it's really manifested. It's really materialized here. This is the situation. This is the per a person speaking what you're fearing or things happening exactly. Then it adds almost like a like another dimension to it. I mean, it's the same thing because you face within your mind. Yet it's still different because it's in this reality. It's actually real now. And so, and then yeah, I have a fear come up. And that's something I have to face then because to actually face in reality, it is different, yet it's still the same. You know, it's just, it's very interesting. And so for me, you know, applying what I applied within myself would be to stand up, say no, and just move and create, change the situation, move myself, to not accept and allow the fear to decide who I am.
the same thing too, like in situations where, you know, within myself I'm facing something. And let's say something within the mind is saying something like, you shouldn't do this. And like they're telling me that, right, the mind. And I say, no, I have not listened to that. I'm going to decide for myself, create for myself. But, you know, within myself saying that, and then to actually, you know, with other people, if other people tell me that, and for me to actually say the same thing, that is a whole different level for me. That is actually scary. That actually brings up fear. And so there is a difference between just facing within yourself, saying no, and actually saying it aloud. You know, within your actual mouth moving, your lungs breathing out, your forming of words with your body, and actually in a real situation with another person, saying that, saying no. And I'm deciding for myself. So that is a different dimension, yet it's still the same process. It's still the same. So that's what I mean when I say everything within me is within the world because it's like literally that point of, of the mind's voice is what words that people, that people speak in this world, in this reality. And not only that, that's just, that's just one example. It's a good example. But there's other examples as well where everything of the mind you can find um, from like, um, for example, being very charming, very manipulative, very good, being a very good person um, and putting that positivity out there so you can control the people in the situation where that's what I've lived as well as programming where to be a good person, to have like programming there where it's like everything is pushed down, suppressed to make sure that I'm a good person. And the same thing was happening in the world as well, where people will also speak that and live that. And so try to create that with their words, with their actions, saying like, this is what's good. And they're smiling and they're happy and they're, and they're feeling positive. That's still programming. And it's the exact same programming that is with that was with within me that I faced. Yet yeah, to actually sort of face it in the flesh, to face it in reality where you're saying like no. You're actually directing yourself with other people telling you this with their words. You know, that again is a different level, yet yeah, it's still the same. So yeah, it is a different level of challenge to face, to work through, to actually, you know, this is like very similar, like as, as analogy to like the living word where it's here, you're living it with your word. And now it's a different level where it's not just within yourself that you faced, but within with people, with reality, with other people throwing their things at you, throwing the same programming at you that you have faced in yourself. So yeah, <laughs> those are just, I guess, two examples of what I'm talking about here. But basically everything of the mind, all levels, all dimensions, all of it is, is within this world, is actually manifested in this world, is here for you to face, for you to stand in the face of it. And that is the level that needs to be walked in face. Now, for each one, they may be walking in process first within themselves, which is what I basically did. Throughout the years though, I did, you know, move things to reality. I did utilize um, taking moments and working with reality and facing things, but 
that I was still within a realm where, you know, let's say I was still comfortable within, I was still, um, still within just myself. It didn't really involve other people um, pushing their points or where now it's the difference is other people reactively, very vocally, very as who they are, standing as programming. And then me actually standing in the face of that. It's just a different level, which is more challenging because it's me actually directing the programming within the physical, within the flesh of other people, within within my flesh, because it's both parts where me actually changing within myself in the face of other people. And so at the same time, speaking those words, which will have an impact within them, which has a chance or it gives opportunity for them to reflect and see who they are. And it's a simultaneous thing that happens. It's like, you know, within me speaking, when I speak, it creates a sound, and then another person hears the sound. So at the same moment, something is occurring within me, and also within another person. So that's how reality works. It's like uh, like a balance, or there are always two people involved. So that's how it works. So. Yeah. So for me, this is the thing I'll be, I'll be doing, <laughs> where it's about um, recognizing the program within the moment, within people, and so recognizing within myself. Like at the same time, it's like a simultaneous thing happening. And if it's something that for me brings up, you know, programming where for me to actually live in the physical, live in the flesh, in the moment to speak, then that's, you know, my point of taking more responsibility for myself. It was a moment where, okay, well, I've already walked through this, uh, living it physically, I already lived it, it's already part of me, then it's simply speaking and sharing with the other person. And, I mean, at that same time, too, it's like recognizing, okay, well, look at that person, look at my programming, look at what is here, what is the match here, what is the, the programming of the moment. And so, within that moment, then I try to find a way where the programming is, is shown, is, is revealed. And that is something new for me in terms of pushing myself to, to be very active and aware of, of the other person, of myself. In that same moment where it's like really bring it into my body and their body, realizing that, okay, it's programming. That's the level that I'm understanding people here where it's just the mind, it's just programming. And it's all about just changing that, bringing more awareness to that and utilizing what I already walked and lived to do so. Because when I walk my process within just myself, I had myself, I had the solutions and applied it and lived it. So it's more about to bring it now, everything I've learned into application within physical reality, within everyday life, with, it, with other people, within my body, utilizing all my understanding of programming, 
utilizing all my solutions and just living it. And for me, I'm glad that this is here because this is something that's going to be challenging for me, which I know then this is the right direction for me to go to, the right direction for me to, to live and apply. So, in a way, like I see it like as a become like a hunter, where I'm literally hunting for programming, whether it's within myself or other people. I am now alert. I am now present here to look for programming within myself and other people. Identify it. Find some solution for it. Apply that solution. And just go from there. So that's what it kind of like, that was like a nice little metaphor for me, where it is something where I'm very active then, in everyday moments, with other people, and then looking, but then no longer just sort of, you know, just not really seeing them as having any programming or really any mind, but, but now seeing, okay, well, they have a mind, they have programming. I walked so much of my mind in programming, so let me utilize that to see, okay, you know, what are they going through? What are they facing? You know, how can I relate to that? And so find a solution. Though it's like also understanding though that what they're facing is a programming. It's not really who they are. It's not really personal. Even to them or to myself. And so it's more about, okay, finding how can I break through that programming? How can I bring through themselves, bring through reality, bring through awareness, bring through the same thing that I've walked and faced, where I'm utilizing just my life experience now. Where, for example, in a moment where there was extreme fear, extreme anxiety, where I realized, okay, this is what I'm afraid of. And what I would do is I would take myself to that moment that I'm afraid of. Let's say one thing was dancing, dancing in public. So then I would move myself to do that. Now, early stages, I would only dance in my room, for example. Like, okay, I was afraid of dancing. So I immediately moved myself to dance right in the moment. You know, I was in my room, I just danced. Then I pushed myself, of course, you know, go further and further to actually dance in public. And all through that, I had fear, I had anxiety, I had nervousness. Yet I still pushed myself, I still did it. Same thing with you now this new process, but it's still the same old process. It's just as I see the programming, as I see that the problem, then I see the solution and I apply it right away. So the same thing is just, it doesn't matter if I'm afraid or anxious or nervous, it's about me actually living the solution and by doing so, it becomes like a muscle, it becomes something strong within myself, my willpower, as well as within my body, the information within my body changes. Where like the information in my body changes to actually be aligned to what I'm living now. What I'm actually moving myself to do. And so that way, I, I make the choice to never be limited by what I feel. Never be limited by feeling good or bad or anything. That's a very important point to live and apply. That no matter what you feel, that no matter what you may be thinking, that does not determine you, who you are, <clears throat> or your movement or your action at all. <clears throat> and so actually as you live and apply that, your body responds, your mind responds, because how can it not? And so it has to change. It has to adjust to you now. And so within that, of course, <clears throat> come, comes the responsibility of, of actually understanding the mind, of actually understanding your weakness, understanding your limitation, because how can you grow and expand? How can you change if you don't really understand how you're limited, if you don't really understand your your weakness, your limitation. 
And so for me now, I'm understanding this limitation of of actually sort of accepting, I guess, <clears throat> that all of my mind is actually real. It's actually manifested in this world. And that initially that realization is scary because it's like, oh shit, everything that I face within my mind, everything that seems so imaginary, everything that I have control over within myself is actually in this world, you know? It is different to realize that. And it's like immediately stepping into the reality and seeing everything differently, where you realize the extent of of the mind. At the same time, though, I have been in this scary situation before, and all I had to do was stand. Stand is who I am. And so it's like walking the same process I walked from the beginning now. But again, because now it's going to be me actually another person speaking my programming me responding with the actual solution both for myself where if i'm reacting if for example another person taking a role of superiority i'm reacting with inferiority to actually change that within myself and to actually respond accordingly to actually a change in just situation for them and for me or it's not even about them or me, it's just about programming. The programming that we all have. And it's like I'm just then addressing the mind. The mind, the flesh, the mind, the physical. The mind that has manifested in reality. And within that, well, now it's really changing reality. It's really changing the physical. It's really bringing forth a solution. So, and again, like I said in the last video, I don't really hold any expectations or fixed ideas. But I do utilize the principle, all the principles I walked, understanding all the patterns, utilizing that to have an idea, have a prediction of what's going to be but yet not really holding on to that where I'd be so stubborn as to believe that I actually know it's going to happen. I don't. But I have an idea of what could happen. I'm going to try that first and see. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see what occurs through me actually addressing programming the mind and within people, within, within myself, within other people, within other people, within myself. <laughs> that point where the mind is here, people speak it, people live it, people apply it. So how do we address it? So then how do we address ourselves? Because the fact is we're just not living the solution yet. If I, well, if I was really living the solution, and I wouldn't be even be saying this, so it always comes down to myself. So when I say other people, I'm talking about how do I respond? How do I be a solution, be the example, be the point, be the inspiration, be the annoyance, be the annoying point of realization for them? Whatever may be required to break through programming within myself and them. The solution will be the same. We want an equal for both of us. So all I have to do is apply and live and speak and continue living the principles of really what it means to be a great human being. Humility, respect, equality, understanding. Uh, strength, perseverance, um, being not compromising for, of what's best for all, and so on and so forth. Everything that really makes life great, life a great life for everyone. Okay, so thank you very much. <laughs>